the way I like to use Simulation Craft is um, I start out by going to this website here and downloading SimC or the latest version of SimC. Uh, it's really easy. Click the link I just clicked on. Click that, and what do you know? You're downloading that. I've already got it, so I'm just going to cancel that. And I've already extracted the uh, the folder. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Most of it's useless to you. So just go to simulationcraft.exe, and you're greeted with this website or with this uh, page. First thing you want to do is um, change the iterations. I think it's defaults to the thousand. That's useless for scale factors. You want to set that at least ten thousand. I like twenty-five thousand. Um, I find it produces better, more consistent numbers. Uh, the player skilled starts out at elite. I'm not that good, so I just change it down one. Um, and the number of threads you really should make sure that you change this to the maximum number of uh, cores your CPU has. It speeds up the process a lot. Um, in 10 man raid you'll want to toggle everything. Uh, or you'll want to make sure that you have everything, all the buffs that you're getting, all the debuffs that are p being put on the boss, and you want to make sure that these four are checked for uh, the scaling. You can also do intellect if you want. Um, it's pretty useless I find though since you know it's always going to be the best and you can't reforge to it anyways. Uh, the plots, these look pretty cool but they take a long time to uh, to simulate so I just leave them off unless I'm looking for a specific case threshold or I want to find out where case becomes useless for me. And then you can go to import. Um, start out at the at, our, at the World of Warcraft website. Just type in your character name. Uh, there we go. Um, import. Once this is all loaded, simulate, and this will uh, start going through its thing, which takes a little while. I've already got the, uh, I've already got it done here though. A um, few things to note: it shows you your theoretical DPS, which for me is just over twenty-nine thousand. Um, gives you the scale factors right here but they're not in an easy way to uh, to import and to reforge light so if you scroll down there's gear weights usually unexpanded click to expand it and just copy it in once you've copied that oh um, if you just do control C it doesn't work sometimes I'm not sure why so just right click copy uh, go to World of Warcraft, go to the uh, Reforge guy, Oops. click on Reforge an item, not what is reforging, and then you can import uh, Pawn, paste uh, that in there, and then um, <laughs> you'll want to set this if it's not set already. And if there are any haste, crit, or mastery caps, uh, you can put those in here. Uh, for me, I know that my haste cap is at 2589, so I add two to that just to give it some extra wiggle room. And I know from being over the haste cap uh, that it's worth six, or the haste is worth 68 after that. So calculate. Um, sometimes it'll do this. Uh, if it does that, just calculate again, and again, and again, and again. Um, the best result, it'll always save that. So if you just do restore, then you can click show. Interesting. 
Apparently it'll cost me uh, quite a bit to do that, so I'm just going to try calculate again. No. Definitely don't want that. There we go. That's the one I have. Um, then just click Reforge. And there you go. You should be all reforged so that your hit will be as near 17% as possible. Your um, haste for me will be over the cap. And your mastering crit, crit will otherwise be maximized. Um, which, if you see here, gives me an extra 84 crit after getting me to the haste cap and the hit cap. 